guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. Now this is a video that you guys have been asking for for a very, very long time and it is my full nighttime skincare routine. Now, <laughs> I can't even begin to tell you how many requests I have had from you guys to actually film this and show you this. Uh, there's been some delays because obviously you guys know as part of what I do here, I am constantly testing new skincare products. I'm constantly testing, you know, new launches, new releases, reviewing things for you guys. Um, <laughs> so it's kind of hard to stick to one skincare routine for any extended period of time because I'm just like constantly like, oh, I'm going to try this cleanser and this night cream and this and this and that. But but this skincare routine that I'm going to be showing you in today's video, I have been absolutely loving. I've been doing it since March, I think about March, which is April, May, June, July, August, nearly September. So six months I've stuck with this one. And I mean, I know that you guys have definitely noticed a really big change in my skin over the last couple of months. And thank you so much for all of the beautiful comments that you guys have been leaving me about my skin. Like you are honestly amazing. Uh, I really do think that this particular routine has just made like huge differences. Like I am seeing huge differences in my skin. Uh, all of these products are amazing and I'm just really, really excited to finally be sharing this with you today. Now, obviously I'm not normally wearing this much makeup at night, but I also wanted to show you guys as part of this exactly like what products and what I do to actually take off a full face of makeup as well. Because obviously cleansing the skin and getting off, you know, all the makeup, the pollution, the sweat, you know, whatever it is on your skin, uh, getting all of that off the skin is like a really, really important part of your skincare routine and it's going to go a long way in terms of preventing acne, preventing blackheads and keeping your skin looking as clean and as radiant as possible. So yeah, that's why I'm looking like this. And obviously, normally I wouldn't be doing my skincare routine here. Normally I would be doing it in our bathroom. It's way too echoey to film in there and it's not great lighting. So we're going to just pretend that you're in my bathroom with me. <laughs> now, I am also excited for today's video because part of my nighttime routine over the last month, because I've only just started this, uh, part of my nighttime routine is also that I am wearing clear aligners to help straighten my teeth. Now, I have teamed up with Smile Direct Club to do this and I do have an affiliate code for you guys if you want to save $150 off your treatment plan. So a treatment plan of clear aligners to straighten teeth. You can use this code to get that. I will pop it on the screen and you will get that $150 off your treatment plan after you've gone in for your Smile Shop free appointment to have your teeth scanned or after you've sent in your impressions kit. I, uh, I have to say you guys, teeth problems is something that I am really, really new to. And I know that probably sounds like so in Indulgent, but I was born with straight teeth and it's always been something that I've actually been really proud of. It's kind of been like my badge of honor. Like I don't have the nicest feet. I don't have the nicest eyelashes. Straight teeth has always been my thing. And it's also always been my thing that I could rub in my sister's faces because <laughs> I was out of the three of us. I was the one that was born with the nice teeth, right? And coming with that, I haven't really had too much experience with dentists or orthodontists or anything like that because it's always just been like straight and narrow for me. Like my, my teeth have always been really, really easy to maintain. Well, she turns 30, doesn't she? And what happens? My wisdom teeth decide, you know what? We're coming to the party. We're going to, we're going to join, we're going to join this game and we are going to make your life difficult. <laughs> So my wisdom teeth have been coming. They've come up through my gums. Um, both my upper and lower wisdom teeth have come through. Luckily for me, I do actually have room, you know, at the back of my mouth for them. I don't actually need to, at this stage anyway, get them removed. But what has happened is it's actually caused all of my teeth to bunch together and they're starting to overlap and actually twist around along the bottom of my mouth. I was researching options and what to do. I wanted to be able to straighten them out and put them back, you know, put those girls back in line, put those teeth back where they should be. Um, but in a way that was going to be as minimally invasive to my life as possible. Again, I know first world problems, but I didn't want to wear braces. I didn't want to, you know, have to wear 
like aligners during the day. Um, just I, I wanted something that was going to be easy, that was going to be quick, that was going to be convenient and accessible. And obviously, being that I don't have that much experience with dentists, I was also a little bit hesitant about who to go with, what to do and whatnot. And that is where Smile Direct Club came in. I am honestly so appreciative that they reached out to me about doing this and working with me because the experience so far has just been nothing short of amazing. So if you haven't heard of them and you probably may not have, uh, Smile Direct Club, uh, it's, it's a program, it's a business that works with dentists and orthodontists and basically what they do is they create customized smile plans and they create aligners that will straighten your teeth but the process is overall just so much more convenient, so much more accessible, it's more affordable and it's all done with registered dentists and orthodontists. They're really professional, it's a really premium service uh, but yeah you don't have to mortgage your house to get straight teeth which is also a huge hugely good thing so for me so far and how my journey has gone is I actually went into one of their clinics so they have lots of clinics around you go in and you do what's called like a smile shop appointment they have like this really cool camera and it's just so funny because you watch it live as it happens and it's just so funny to see your teeth from like every which angle like that um, but they actually take pictures of all of your teeth so they slide this thing around the front of your teeth and then in the back of your teeth, upper and lower, and they take like thousands of photos of your teeth from different angles, from different perspectives, and then they collate those all together and then it's actually reviewed by a dentist or an orthodontist. And they look at all the pictures and then they will actually make you an individualized treatment plan. It's really, really awesome. They, like once the aligners are done and once the treatment plan is approved by the dentist and it's all, you know, set up and schmicko and stuff, they actually ship them directly to your door. They come in this cute as purple box. Um, and in here, you have literally everything that you need uh, to straighten your teeth which is so, so, so cool. For me, I wear my clear aligners overnight and that's why it's part of my nighttime skincare routine. I will generally pop them in, do my skincare, and then I go to bed and I sleep with them in so they don't... They don't interfere with anything. They literally, like, this has been the easiest process and I'm, I'm so happy that I found these guys. <laughs> but this here is the little case that you store them in and then these here, and I, it's actually quite a nice little case. It's like all rubberized on the inside. These are my teeth. I'm <laughs> so, I just find it so bizarre. Like, hello. <laughs> and what happens is you take progress photos through your journey and you send them to the dentist or orthodontist that is overseeing your treatment plan. They check in with you, they make sure everything is on track and that everything's going exactly how it needs to. And then, like I said, at the end of my 10 month uh, treatment, once I'm done, I will be able to get retainers that I'll be able to wear to keep my smile you know, perfectly straight forever. Like I said, you guys, I've just been so happy with the entire service so far. It's been awesome. And if you're somebody who has been thinking about straightening your teeth, but you're kind of like me and you were like, oh, I don't know where to go. I don't know, you know, what's going to be the best thing. I really, really would recommend it. Just an awesome option. And it's so convenient to be able to work with dentists like this, you know, from the comfort of my own home. All right, so the next step, obviously, as part of a skincare routine, as part of my nighttime routine, I have to get this makeup off. We've got to get all this makeup off my skin. Now, I am wearing lashes. Um, sometimes they do come off fairly easily. I'll see how we go today. Yep, they just peel straight off. I always do recommend if you are like me um, and you're needing to take off, you know, quite a lot of makeup, just make sure you take off your lashes first. Uh, using oil-based cleansers on strip lashes, it can really, really damage them. Um, you need to sort of avoid that. Um, and you don't want like your lashes, like your lashes, you should be reusing your lashes over and over and over again. They're, they're not a one-time use product. So just make sure you get the absolute most out of them. Now, you guys know the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse is absolutely my holy grail. And this is probably... Well, this is probably a skincare product that I have used for one of the longest times out of all of the skincare products that I've got. I use this religiously. This is an oil cleanser and it melts the makeup off your skin. It's incredible. Um, it's, it's like a clear oil. It's very tricky to show this one on camera. You pump it out and then I basically rub it all over my hand. See it all on my hands there. What this does is it actually breaks down the makeup 
and all like the brow gel, the mascara, the eyeshadow, the lipstick. I mean, you do end up looking a little bit scary when you do this, but you just put it, like you literally apply it straight on top of your makeup. You guys have heard me talk about double cleansing probably a million times here on my channel. I just honestly think double cleansing has made the biggest difference ever to my skin. Like I've absolutely got less blackheads, less breakouts, I've got less... You know, like my skin is less irritated. And then once this is done, you actually add water. Um, again, this is going to be a little bit tricky to do on camera, but you add water and it turns it into like a milky kind of a consistency. I've just wet my hands so I can sort of show you the effect of this. But turns it into like a milky sort of a consistency. And then you basically rinse that off. Now this just does an amazing job. It gets rid of like, I've never had an issue with this. It also doesn't irritate my eyes, but it gets off liquid eyeliner. It gets off liquid lipstick. It just literally melts the makeup off your skin. So once I'm done with this and once this is all looking, you know, really, really nice and creamy and I'm feeling, well, and you're looking like a zombie. Literally, it's what it makes you look like. I still am obsessed with these. Now, these are the Sante by Enyo Makeup Remover Pads, and I use these in conjunction with an oil cleanser to get all of the makeup off my skin. These are absolutely amazing. Basically, after you've done this, and if you want, it's up to you. Um, I prefer to like really go in, you know, I'm such a fan of double cleansing. Um, if you want, you can even just wet these with water and they will take off all of your makeup without even needing to use a cleanser. They're so good. And then once you're done, you just chuck it in the washing machine, um, you know, wash it and they are good to go again. Now, I do still have um, a discount code with these as well. I mean, it's not going to get you a discount, but it will get you um, a free bamboo face towel with any purchase of one of these. I swear by them. They're so, so, so good. So basically, I use that and I sort of, you know, get like underneath all my lashes and really, really get that makeup off. The two of them paired together is just life changing. Now, I am going to go quickly rinse my skin at the sink before I move on to cleanser but how funny I had glitter on my eyes can you see the glitter sparkling on my skin oh, that looks so funny <laughs> all right so we've rinsed off that oil cleanser and all the residue and this is one of the things that I just love about an oil cleanser like it it washes your skin and it does such a good job of getting all of your makeup off but then it doesn't leave your skin feeling like dry and stripped um like it hydrates at the same time it's just so good but as you guys know i am a huge advocate for double cleansing i've just noticed a huge difference in my skin since i started double cleansing uh, so i always follow up the pre-cleanse with a gel cleanser or a foam cleanser or a cream cleanser i do have to say i do change up my cleansers quite regularly i don't know it's just it, <laughs> i kind of like get sick of using something and then I'll switch to something else. Totally personal preference, you know, that might not work for you, but it does definitely work for me. Uh, at the minute, I am absolutely loving the Ula Henriksen Truth Juice uh, Daily Cleanser. Um, it smells really, really nice. It's soft. It feels like it's hydrating and cleansing at the same time. It doesn't leave me feeling stripped and dry. So I always will follow up with this one. Honestly, it has like this amazing like citrus scent to it. It's so yummy. Um, but at the same time, it's gentle. Like, I feel like at night time, you know, it's not really the time that I want to be using things that are kind of like <laughs> energizing. So in the morning, I might go for like a cleanser with menthol in it or I don't know, peppermint or something um, to sort of like wake my skin up and refresh my skin. But at night time, I don't know. I just like things that are easy and <laughs> easy. <laughs> so just using my Sante uh, to take this off. Normally I would do this at the base and I do use this anyway because I love using these to cleanse the skin. Um, yeah, they're so good. But once all the cleanser is off my skin, I'm ready to go in with the actual like serums and moisturizers and things. I will quickly also mention, um, occasionally I will use like an exfoliant at night before bed. This one here, oh, it's got quite a name. Uh, it's basically an instant microdermabrasion enzyme kind of a product. It's from the brand Youth to the People and it is called the Yerba Mate Resurfacing Energy Facial. Uh, it's kind of like... I guess like a cream exfoliator. It's got tiny little particles in it that exfoliate the skin. Um, this is meant for use one to three times a week, but sometimes I will occasionally use it at night um, as well as in the morning, just if I feel like my skin needs like a little bit of extra exfoliation. Um, I do find that it's quite gentle and it definitely leaves my skin like really, really smooth and feeling amazing. But yeah, this is definitely something that I also use at night in addition to cleansing. Sometimes I'll even mix it with my cleanser. It just depends on what mood I'm in. So skin is cleansed. And like I said, it's not 
like it doesn't feel dry it doesn't feel stripped like it still feels really nice now the first thing that I will always go in after cleansing is a toner um, I've been switching between a few toners lately I've really been loving the new Biosense uh, Squalane and BHA toner um, that's a really really awesome one as well um, but the Ulla Henriksen has still been my go-to for a really long time it's the Glow 2 Dark Spot Toner it's loaded with AHA so it does a really great job at like resurfacing your skin while you sleep but at the same time it's not sticky it's not heavy it's not like my it doesn't irritate my skin I feel like it makes my skin so much brighter and glowier I pretty much put a little bit of that in my hand and then I would just press it into the skin it is really important to use a toner I feel like toners are one of the steps that a lot of people skip but it definitely helps like rebalance the pH of your skin and it definitely helps like minimize pores and things like that and just for like brightening and things like that like I absolutely love a toner now with my skin type I'm an oily skin type as you guys know I've got enlarged pores um, that's that's my area so a lot of the products you will notice that I do use in my nighttime skincare routine are very much targeted towards exfoliation resurfacing and minimizing pores now if you do remember I posted my morning skincare routine oh gosh it was probably like six months or more ago now um, and that is very different to my nighttime skincare routine because I'm so oily I have to be very particular about what products I use during the day under Underneath makeup on my skin I can't use a lot of these products that I use at nighttime obviously in the morning because they're too heavy they're too sticky they're too emollient and they will just cause my makeup to slide off my face so typically my nighttime routine is really targeted towards like the resurfacing and the brightening and all of that uh, whereas my morning routine is a lot more simple and a lot more you know basic hydration needs that aren't going to interfere with my makeup kind of a thing so yeah, just want to point that out. After toner, I like to go in with an eye cream. I am still obsessed with this one from Dermalogica. I've been using this for years. It is the Multivitamin Power Firm. It's from their Age Smart line. I just think that this makes a huge difference to the under eye area. And it's also like a really beautiful lightweight sort of a consistency. Um, I just take a tiny amount and I kind of like dot it underneath my eyes and then over the top as well. And then very, very gently smooth it and press it into the skin. Again, um, eye cream is something that I do sort of cycle around a little bit, just depending on what I'm enjoying or what I'm testing. And that's the other thing. It's quite tricky. Like as part of what I do, I'm constantly trying new skincare. I'm constantly trying new products. Um, so my routines do tend to change depending on what I'm testing. But yeah, this eye cream... Oh my goodness. And it's beautiful during the day as well. It almost feels like a primer on the skin. Like it's really, really gorgeous. Um, and I absolutely notice when using this, it definitely brightens the under eye area, hydrates, and it definitely helps minimize and prevent uh, fine lines and wrinkles. It's awesome. Then after I've got eye cream on, I like to go in with a serum. I have been using this since... Oh, I want to say March this year, quite a long time. And ever since I've added it to my routine, I honestly have not looked back. It's incredible. It is the Biosense Squalane and Lactic Acid Resurfacing Night Serum. So again, this is targeted towards, you know, resurfacing the skin, exfoliating the skin, smoothing the skin, minimizing fine lines, minimizing pores and texture. I'm obsessed with this. It does an incredible, incredible job. You do get a little bit of a tingle when you first apply. That's kind of like this white... Um, looking lotion I like to warm it up in my hands just a little and then gently smooth it into the skin I love this I have tried lots and lots of resurfacing you know serums and serums with AHAs in them and stuff and I just think this one is the absolute most effective like whenever I use this and then I wake up in the morning I just feel like my skin just looks so much better it does an amazing job and I also like that it's not too sticky as well. Um, a lot of these night serums and a lot of night creams and a lot of nighttime targeted skincare products are so sticky. I swear by sleeping on a silk pillowcase. Um, I get all of my silk pillowcases from Lily Silk. Like honestly, if you're a skincare junkie and you are not sleeping on a silk pillowcase, what are you doing? It makes the biggest, biggest difference. Um, but because I do sleep on silk pillowcases like for my hair and my skin, I just... I cannot stand using any kind of skincare product that is sticky and that will cause the pillowcase to stick to my head. Like I absolutely hate that feeling of like when you lay down in bed and you're like, oh, I'm sticking to my pillow. 
absolutely detest that. And that's another reason why I love this serum so much. Like it does an amazing brightening, like, and I wake up with like super glowy, beautiful skin but it's not really, really heavy and sticky. So it's an absolute must have for me. Now, sometimes I will follow this up directly with an oil or sometimes I will use a night cream in addition. So I'll go, you know, cleanser, toner, eye cream, serum, and then like some kind of a night cream or an oil, or sometimes I use both. I'm gonna show you both in this video so that you've got, you know, all the information about all of my favorite products, but my absolute favorite night cream uh, for quite a while now has been this one from Dermalogica. This is the Sound Sleep Cocoon. And this is basically a lightweight night cream um, that transforms the skin as well while you sleep. It says on the back that it optimizes nighttime skin recovery, reduces the signs of skin fatigue and aging, restores radiant skin. Um, it does heaps of amazing stuff, but I really like that it's so super hydrating, but at the same time, still lightweight on the skin. So again, I'm not sticking to my pillow. I'm not feeling really awful um, and tacky. And the other really cool thing about this one is it's got like this beautiful lavender scent. So it actually, like when I use it at night, oh, it's like this beautiful, like calming lavender smell. It smells incredible. And I feel like it's quite calming. It's just like this beautiful lightweight gel. It's I, I honestly love this one. If I don't use an oil, I will absolutely every time use this. Or sometimes, like I said, I use both in oil. It just depends on how my skin is feeling. It just depends on if I'm wanting to be like super hydrated and super, super glowy. But yeah, it melts into the skin, doesn't leave me feeling sticky or tacky or anything. It just oh, works so good. All right, so moving into oils, I've got two absolute favorite oils that I love to use. Uh, this one by Biosense, you guys have heard me raving on about this for literally years now. It's such an amazing product. It's their vitamin C rose oil. I love this at night. I love this during the day. I love this even underneath foundation. It is that good. It's a beautiful lightweight oil. Um, really, really good option if you're looking for something basic that is an oil that's going to hydrate, that's going to give your skin all this amazing glowy hydration and just... Oh, it, it does so many incredible things, um, but it doesn't really have too many other, like obviously there's vitamin C in there for brightening and rose for, you know, inflammation and whatnot, but it doesn't really have too many other active ingredients in it. Um, but this one here by Sunday Riley, mm, mm, mm. this is another product that I have been obsessed with for years. It does such a good job, you guys. Oh my gosh. So it is the Lunar Sleeping Night Oil, and this is actually a retinoid product, so it will actively fight signs of aging in your skin while you sleep. So, you know, loss of elasticity, loss of volume, uh, you know, it minimizes fine lines and wrinkles. It helps with texture. It's absolutely incredible. And it's this beautiful blue color. Like, can you see there? It's like actually blue, which is really, really cool. You really only need like the tiniest amount. And honestly, the scent of this one as well, it just it reminds me of nighttime. It's it's everything. And even if my skin is like red and inflamed or it's been particularly, I don't know, sensitive to things or just, you know, really sort of not behaving itself, I swear I, I can use this at night and I wake up in the morning and it just looks so much better. But I just feel like it really helps to transform my skin and just, you know, I just wake up feeling like a whole new person. Like I'm glowy and I feel like I'm smoother. There's less texture. It really is amazing stuff. And obviously it's an oil, so you're getting the hydration, but you've got the retinoid in there for the anti-aging. Um, oh, just, it, it's literally a miracle product. And also I will just quickly say, speaking of Sunday Riley, um, I do have another product from them that I do use sometimes just depending on my breakout. So I've got quite, uh, yeah, I've got acne prone skin. It can be related to food. It can be related to hormonal changes. It just really depends. Um, this is a product that I've been using for a really, really long time, specifically at night. And oh my God, you guys, this is like a green acne cream. I kid you not. I used this the other day. I lathered it on my face. Like I've got a couple of breakouts happening sort of on the side of my skin at the minute. Under here, here, on the side of my nose. I lathered <laughs> So basically what I do, I need to explain how I use it first. It's it's loaded with sulfur. It's got green tea in it, uh, niacinamide. It really dries out pimples overnight, like literally like that. It does such an incredible job. Um, but what I'll do is if I'm breaking out, look, I'll show you here on camera so you can see. See how it's like a bright green color. And then what I do is I just take a tiny little bit. Sometimes I'll use a Q-tip and I'll literally... 
I'll pop it on my zits. <laughs> just like that. And then I was sleeping it overnight, right? Well, the other day I packed it onto my pimples. I was like, yes, you know, I'm sick of these. Um, you put it on the night before and then they typically like the next day, they're way less swollen. They're way less inflamed. They're way smaller. It does an amazing job of fighting acne. But I woke up the next morning, super, super early. You know, it was going to be a beautiful sunny day. I was like, okay, I'm just going to go for a run before I actually have a shower, before I do anything. I chucked my running clothes on straight out of bed, went for a run. I got back from my run, you guys. And Brandon was like, you forgot that you put that green acne cream on. And I had literally been running around because I, I run outside and I run like through the town, like past the coffee shops and stuff. He's like, you've literally been running with green cream all over your face. <laughs> It was absolutely the funniest thing. But, it, you know, it if you suffer from breakouts, it's a great product to use overnight. It can be a little bit stinky. It's almost like your face. Uh, it smells like sulfur in the morning. And if you've ever smelled sulfur, it kind of smells like rotten eggs. But, I mean, I'm willing to do it because it's potent. And it works. <laughs> but there you go, guys. That is it for my entire nighttime skincare routine. I hope that you guys did find this video helpful. You've been asking for my nighttime skincare routine for a really, really long time. So if you do have any questions about any of this, please, by all means, pop them in the uh, comments down below. I'll be hanging out there uh, answering all of your questions. Or if you've got any questions about the uh, teeth straightening, like the aligners or anything, you know, pop that all down below as well. But give the video a thumbs up, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're having an amazing day and I will talk to you all in my next one.